If you're one of the many lifters who are worried that supplementing with creatine may cause you to lose your hair, then I want you to pay very close attention. This link between creatine supplementation and hair loss boils down to one key hormone, dihydrotestosterone. Now, according to the research, dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, is associated with hair follicle shrinkage, which leads to early and unwanted baldness. One study study conducted in 2009 found significant increases in DHT levels from creatine supplementation. Researchers administered creatine to 20 college-aged competitive athletes over a 21-day period. The participants were given 25 grams per day of creatine for the first 7 days or the loading phase in which they saw a 56% increase in DHT levels. During the following 14 days or or the maintenance phase, where participants were administered 5 grams of creatine per day, their DHT levels remained elevated by 40%. They also found that the DHT to testosterone ratio increased by 36% after the loading phase and remained elevated by 22% during maintenance. Now, before we can come to a definitive conclusion, there are a few factors we must consider. Firstly, the observed increase in DHT levels was relatively minor. The reason it was deemed statistically significant is because the baseline DHT level levels for the creatine group were 23% lower than the placebo group to start with. Secondly, the increased DHT readings still fall within the normal healthy range. This suggests that the elevation of DHT resulting from creatine supplementation may not be significant enough to cause adverse effects on your hair follicles. And lastly, it's worth noting that exercise itself can lead to similar increases in DHT DHT levels. Given that the participants were in their competitive season during the time of the study, this implies that the increase in DHT levels could be exercise induced and may not be exclusive to their creatine intake. You see, while the study noted an increase in DHT levels, it did not measure actual hair loss or growth. In fact, the researchers never made any claim about creatine and hair loss. These claims were brought about by by so-called fitness experts. That said, the study assessed serum DHT levels rather than specifically targeting DHT levels at hair follicle sites where baldness occurs. This distinction is critical since it's scalp DHT levels that are directly linked to hair loss, not serum levels. In fact, studies show that levels of scalp DHT can change without significant changes in serum DHT. Now let's look at a more recent 2021 meta-analysis where researchers examined the evidence surrounding creatine supplementation and its physiological effects including hair loss. Let us first understand the mechanism of DHT formation as it's essential in evaluating the alleged impact of creatine on your hair. DHT is synthesized from testosterone by an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. This means that for DHT to be increased via supplementation, there must be an increase in testosterone first so that 5-alpha reductase has something to convert to DHT. Therefore, creatine studies looking at its effects on hormone levels levels should show significant increases in testosterone levels first before dipping as it gets converted into DHT if the hypothesis were to be true. However, among the 12 studies included in the analysis, only two studies showed fluctuations in testosterone levels with both results being physiologically insignificant, and five studies saw no significant changes in total testosterone, free testosterone, and DHT. In totality, the comprehensive study found no significant correlation between creatine intake and hair loss, debunking the long-standing myth perpetuated by the 2009 study. Creatine primarily exerts its ergogenic effects by increasing phosphocreatine levels in muscle cells and does not appear to modulate hormone levels significantly. And even when it does, it's not a direct effect 
effect, but rather an indirect effect of its ability to increase muscle mass and strength, so the effect is not large nor immediate. Remember, the study was done 13 years ago and has not been replicated since. With the tens of thousands of studies about creatine, only one study has been associated with hair loss. And while there could always be new findings in the future, as it sits today, there's absolutely zero evidence that creatine causes hair loss. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.